Oh, I've been making some log houses at the farm for setting at the uh, events. Um, I found this piece of wood here. Um, I just want to show you how, how I make them. So I found this bit of wood here. I think it's quite an interesting sort of shape. I don't know what sort of wood it is, but it's quite um, quite a hard bit of wood. So I'm going to make one out of this. I've cut um, with my router um, a doorway, so I've got to make a door for it, and then I'll put some windows on it. I found um, a piece of hardwood in the shed. Probably been here for years. A good bit of good bit of hardwood. So I've cut it up into um, bits to make the window frames with. So um, we'll find something for a door now. What I'm looking for is a piece of old decking. So, see what we can find. <coughs> well, I found an old piece of decking, so I just opened that hole up with a chisel a bit and um, let it go on there to put some hinges and some doorknob things on it at the moment. Next. Right, I've cut some um, pieces of thin alley off of this um, roofing thing, bit of roofing thing and um, I've got some plastic which is off a, a milk bowl so that's um, like the centre of a milk bowl at the, um, there's the top of it and that's the plastic so um, I've straightened that out and put it um, with some some of this timber around it, so it looks like a window. So that's the strips of alley, and that's uh, this hardwood that I um, cut up and found found in the shed and cut. Up. And so these are stainless steel nails, so they um, should hold it all in. And um, I found a bit of. Um, decking and um, I've cut out to shape and fitted it in the door hole I've put the screws, see these in like making hinges out of these these are out of big cable ties um, just put the screws through underneath there and then cover them up so I put a little window in there and a door plate there and um, hmm starting off, coming on that. Let me see how we get on. Had enough that day. Bye. Well, that's the uh, door made. That's the hinges and that's a little window to look out. That's a, like a door plate. That's like a little knob. So, um, looks alright from a distance, doesn't it? So we've got a, a door and a window at the moment. So it's, it's that piece of that and two strips of that and a stainless steel nail going through the middle. I don't know if I can uh, film it and tap it with one end, can I? So we're going to cut these pieces of wood so that they are um, just go around the outside of it. Yeah. I put a little groove in the bottom of there so that it sits on top of that piece of alley like that so that it holds it down. And I've got pre-drilled it and I've got three. Cut two pieces for the sides and then mark them underneath to put a little groove in so that the um, window bar goes underneath it. Right, so it's nailed them two on and then want one across the bottom there to hold that bar down. I might have to put some little nicks in that because I haven't quite left enough. So that's the next window done. 
a bit wonky, but it looks better when they're a bit wonky. So it's um, three of them done. And the door. So, uh, that's coming on, isn't it? Looks alright. Put one more there, and there's one round the side. And I've got to sort something out about the roof. Right, that'll do for now. That's the front done, so um, <coughs> just got to do one on the side now and find something for the roof. Got an idea for the roof. Got some um, imitation grass there, so we can have it a living roof, or we might have a slate that goes in there. So. That's coming on in there. Looks alright. Alright, just starting on this one. I just remembered this bit of wood, um, it's, it's been in the shed for about 30 years waiting for a job. Because it was all one piece then. It was a piece about inch by three inch hardwood, some sort of mahogany or really good stuff. And I, I think, I remember putting it, it's, it's about 30 years it's been in the shed waiting for a job. Anyway, it's, it's found its vocation now, so uh, that's where it's going to end up. Well, there it is, finished now. Um, it's got a living roof on it. That's all I could think of, really. I've drilled some holes in the back of it so that the smaller insects can get in there. And um that's all right, isn't it? Um here's one I did earlier. Can you see it in there? And there's another one down here somewhere. Um another one there. And this one over here. This one's got um lights in it. So um lights up at night. Right. Thanks for watching and um I'll see what my next job is. Bye.